Hello, Sacred Geometry Decoded. Uh, a while back I did a video on the famous treasury building in Petra. And again, there's this, uh, but it's impossible, lost high technology, must be of some ancient lost civilization. Just went through all the design features. For, it, it is, it is Greco-Roman. This is like, without a doubt, anyone, it's just beyond question. But uh, I, in the comments I had someone ask me and send me the picture of this. This is also in Petra, in Jordan. And they were asking uh, what type of columns were these. Now, just in case there's any um, confusion, here on the left we see the famous treasury building featured in uh, Indiana Jones movies. But the the whole every design feature in this is uh, even the gods depicted. It is Greco-Roman, <laughs> just with without a doubt. But just so there's no conf just so there's no confusion between these two buildings. So that's the one I covered, the famous treasury building. I was asking about what type of columns are these. Now the treasury building his has Corinthian column capitals. Uh, there are variations. I've done a few videos on this. There are variations on Corinthian design. But what defines the Corinthian column capital is this a canvas leaf design. That's the defining feature. So they don't always have the volutes. They're also very because there's uh, classical Corinthian there's composite or Roman Corinthian but it's the acanthus leaf that design um, shows it so okay because I'll show you this again later State Library of New South Wales um, and on the outside what we have is the typical Ionic columns we'll come back to that in a moment but if we go on the inside we can see again this is a canvas leaf design so that's the def uh, defining feature the treasury building in Petra is Corinthian order, essentially. So what type are these capitals? So firstly, I'll zoom in there on those. Okay, we could, uh, now, these are unfinished, these columns there on the bottom. But if you go back to the State Library of New South Wales, now on the outside we see the more standard, the when people think of ionic columns, they think of these, so it's basically flat on one side and then flat on the other. However, on the extension to the State Library, uh, what we have is these type of ionic columns. They're ionic also, but notice how they're at sort of 45 degrees or you know 90 degrees from the center, as where these are uh, running parallel the front and the back. So this is also ionic, and by the, these columns, were unfinished but they have the the look to be ionic columns now when it comes to column design so okay I mentioned the acanthus leaf design that's the temple of the winds in Athens acanthus leaf on the bottom but it doesn't have the so modern composite this is a Corinthian order we see the acanthus leaf but we also have those volutes these swirls there at the corner Temple of the Winds is a canvas, so it's Corinthian, but we have uh, fused with an Egyptian style. Now when it comes, to, so there we have the more common Ionic, so the swirls are running flat with each other, uh, front and back, but we also have this Ionic, so we're there at uh, emanating from the centre. So there's different styles of Ionic. These are ionic, ionic, ionic. Again, ionic, so where it's the front and back are parallel, but also have these scamozzi types, as well as they're called, and we have those running outside. Now, here's an, again, we see Roman ionic, Greek angular ionic, empire ionic, and scamo, so, and Greek uh, from the erectfeum, the temple just beneath the uh, Parthenon there in Greece. So different Ionics, that's an Ionic, that's an Ionic, but they have different feet. Now these ones here is, uh, I would say that their um, face would be Ionic, just they're incomplete. Okay, so bottom layer is Ionic, or uh, would be pointing towards that. It's also because of the 
another defining feature. So it's not just the column capitals that define the, the, the orders. It's also, for instance, the proportions of the columns themselves, how wide to how high they are. And because these are uh, not as high as they are, so for instance, this looks to be Corinthian because it's much narrower in regards to the height. These would be pointing to Ionic. However, if we zoom in on the top level, uh, now again they're mostly incomplete, but we do have a part of these which have this elaborate decoration which would be pointing to a Corinthian column because of the Corinthian being very elaborate decoration as where Ionic and Doric are more plain in their decorations. So he's some... Um, so again, even within the Corinthian order, so again we see there the Tower of the Winds design which doesn't have the volutes, you know, the volutes of these things here at the corners, but even amongst the uh, more typical Corinthian designs such as these, the height of the column can vary as well, so you have much more elaborate, that would be essentially Roman composite design. But then we have ones that are more squat and more uh, simplified. So even within that I, uh, Corinthian school, which if you have is very elaborate carving, there are variations. It's not a... Uh, the proportions are in regards to the entirety of a building. So the column and the column... Sorry, the column capitals uh, must be in proportion to the building, but... Uh, they don't have to be at this fixed height. They can change. So these might be ionic, uh, but now this someone might have come along later and started carving that. I'm not sure, but by the look of it, I, w I would probably lean towards. Well, actually, I'm sort of stuck halfway between a a variation on Corinthian, but based on these portions before, I'm sort of leaning more towards. Um, a form of ionic. So the bottom almost certainly is ionic order. The top could be a little bit of, um, could go either way because it's unfinished. Could be ionic or Corinthian. But it is not, it's very, especially in modern architecture, uh, for instance, the three columns using three Masonic tracing boards. We also find it in buildings where you have a Doric, an ionic, and then a Corinthian cap capital on top. Uh, so three rows. Now, this is not modern because let's go to, for instance, the Colosseum. We have the Doric order on the bottom. Again, that Ionic order, but with the volutes, swirls, sort of, come, you know, um, coming, emerging out from the centre of a column. So we're all at uh, 45 degrees from the centres, and then we have the Corinthian order at the top. So doesn't have to, if it's Ionic on the bottom, it doesn't have to be Ionic on the top, if it's Corinthian on the top. Uh, but so looking at that, uh, I would say Ionic or Corinthian, but also this is a image from Petra. And you can see these uh, also there down below. But if I zoom in on these well, colonnade capitals, they are very, so that's from that this building. We see them again there, but if I compare them to those above, you can see they have the same elements uh, in their design. So maybe uh, they had a shortage of skilled carvers, so they wanted to keep the, the essence of it, but they maybe they ran out of money before it was finished, a shortage of skilled carvers to do that very difficult Corinthian um, elaborate designs. But again, just to be clear, these are the treasury building and this one because we see the triglyphs with the metopes and oh, now I forget what they're called, the gutters, these little sort of bell things hung in underneath, I forget their uh, correct name. So that's one clearly uh, Greco-Roman temple feature. We also have this, uh, again it's unfinished and Petra. Okay, uh, where are we? I want to 
find a treasury building. There we go, okay. So again, that's the famous treasury building in Petra. Okay, that's not the highest resolution image, but you see again that ball and this sort of column capital underneath it. I'm sure I've got a better image of it. Because that's also... Uh, yeah. So you see that's what's left over at Petra. So we have, a, a again, an acanthus leaf design with this ball, this sphere on top. Just like this building here, again, it's it's incomplete. But with the triglyphs, this uh, decoration on top, and also the pediment style, very Greco. It's in this is a, a in you know these styles were just not done by other other cultures um, prior to that. It's one way you can you know whether you go to 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 Persia or to Egypt, you can look at their the way they design their temples, and it's a signature of what these elements were, and so. Yeah, what column capitals are they? I would almost certainly on the bottom level it's Ionic but incomplete and at the top uh, could be Ionic or it could be Corinthian. Again, they're uh, incomplete. So there's a half answer for you as well. I would, I would probably, if I had to guess, I would say that they were going to be Corinthian on top because of the uh, notice that angle there. Uh, that, and this feature here in the center where this uh, protrusion comes out which is a common thing with the decorations in between uh, Corinthian um, capitals now I should pull up Greco Buddhist architecture but yeah okay that's that's the answer of the question it's they're incomplete so it's hard to be sure but uh, leaning towards uh, Ionic, the top part is difficult if I wish if I was uh, some again we see that portion that's started to be that that's would tell me it's uh, Corinthian not sure if that's erosion there but anyway so that's the uh, best I can do without looking into it uh, uh, too deeply and getting the me one way again is to tell the measurement of the columns how wide they are to, to the height that would be a pin um, be able to pinpoint it as well but by the looks of it mm, sort of Corinthian but mm, could be ionic anyway sorry now going in circles anyway that's to Kenny Bentley but I thought it wouldn't be be hard to describe the answer in a in a comment and maybe some other people might be interested in just to help identify with these because when you usually look at it, Corinthian Doric ionic images and you look them up they tend to have the, the formal, the standard, but there is a lot of variation that exists between each of those of the three orders. And that's not even bringing in the two Roman orders of Tuscan and Composite Corinthian. Anyway, SGD, cheers.